Hi, this is Ali Arango of Game Visuals. Today I'm going to show you how to do isometric movement as well as isometric animation in GDevelop. So let's get started. Okay, what you see in front of you is the website for GDevelop. GDevelop is an open source 2D game engine. It is also a game engine that allows you to make games using a minimum amount of code. To download GDevelop, you would just go to the download link download uh, GDevelop and because GDevelop is open source and free, you don't have to be concerned about uh, there being any kind of limitations to this game engine as you use it, which is excellent. Okay, after you open up GDevelop, you're going to see this screen right here. What you want to do is left click on create a new project and then after you do that, you'll see these options open up here where you see platformer, space shooter, isometric game. These are basically templates that you can use to assist you as you work towards making a game. What we want to do is focus our attention on empty game. Uh, before we click empty game, look at this right here. See where this says choose folder? What you want to do if you want to make sure that your show folder, your game assets go to a place of your choosing, you can left click on choose folder. For myself, I'm going to go to uh, Desktop, Isometric Tutorial, and then I made this folder here called it Tutorial Files. So I'm going to left click, double click on that anyway to go here, and then I'm going to select Select Folder. So now the work that we do here is now going to go to that folder. Okay, so now with that done, I'm going to left click on Empty Game. Okay, so after opening this up, now we see this panel right here. Typically when you come into GDevelop, you want to focus your attention on scenes. Un right underneath scenes, you're going to see this plus button to the right here. When we click this button, this will allow us to make a new scene and our game is going to go into uh, our first scene. And scenes are kind of like like where your main, ga where your main game is at, that would be a scene. Uh, if you pause the game or set up, set the game up so you can pause it, that would be another scene. Your almost any time the scene the uh, see I said I was about to say scene changes almost any time the game changes and another screen pops up that would be a scene so you're gonna click on this plus button here so now you see new scene so this basically gives us something to work in right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click on these three dots right here and then this panel opens up we're gonna select rename and I'm just going to uh, backspace and rename this game one and then press enter. So I'm going to left click right here. Now when I left click right here next to this, what's now called game one, we see this objects panel, you know, these uh, panels here. With this panel right here, this kind of covers up our work here. We, what we can do is click this X button. And then if we want that panel back, we can go to this button right here, which is our project manager button, left click this, and then the screen will come right back again. So for now, I'm going to click this X button to make that go away. What we want to do now is bring in a sprite to work with. And we're going to bring in, I should say, a sprite. We're also going to bring in sprites. Now, what we're about to bring in is we're going to bring in mech sprites. I am a 3D designer and animator. So I made all these. I made a mech. I animated and rigged the mech in Blender. Then I made up sprites for it. I'll put a link in the description so you can get to, to the sprite so you can follow along with this tutorial. Okay, so what you want to do is look towards objects. You're going to click this plus button here, and then you'll see these different options pop up. You want to look towards this sprite option. You're going to left click here. Once you left click, you're going to see these different options you have, properties, behaviors, and then this object name. You're going to click next to this new object name. You're going to delete this, and we're going to name this player. Okay, so with that done, we're going to click this plus to the right here and then now we're going to look to the left this other plus button we're going to left click there okay now basically what's going on is we're going to bring in our first sprite this sprite is going to be basically our idle pose so i'm going to click for myself on desktop i'm going to go to where i have this stored and uh, this right here is my idle pose i'm going to left click and then click open and now you can see here is this one sprite right here so it's a sprite i'm calling it an idle pose Right here, we see this uh, option that says animation zero. I'm going to 
click here and type in idle so we know that this is our idle pose. Okay, now that we have that set up, we can bring in the rest of our sprites. Okay, the purpose of this tutorial is for isometric movement as well as isometric animation. The isometric movement is going to have our player character move in eight different directions or on eight different angles. So we need eight angles. So this is our idol. This is an, uh, included in those eight angles as well as eight animations. So we're going to click this plus eight times. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the way things work as far as setting up this animation, GDevelop knows which angle that each of these numbers of animation goes to. Goes to. So one is going to be left, so we're going to name this left. Two is going to be right. Three is going to be up. Four is going to be down. Five is going to be left, up. Six is going to be left, down. Seven is going to be right, up. Eight is going to be right, down. And I put those names in just so we know which animation uh, sprite should go in. So we have animation one and we have left. So we need a sprite or sprites that show an animation of this mech walking to the left. So I already have that done. I'm a 3D animator. I 3D modeler, rigger, animator. I made up uh, this mech in Blender, animated, and I put out the sprites. I'll put a link into the description so you can get to these sprites so you can follow along with this tutorial. So we have animation one and left. So what we want to do is left click here and then go to where these uh, sprites are at. So here are the folders that I have the sprites in. So I'm going to go to one. I'm going to hold control, press A, and then select open. So now all of these sprites that are going left are now here for animation one. So we're going to go to animation two. This is number two and right. We're going to click here. Go to two. Control A to select all the sprites and then click open. So now we're going to go to three, which is up. So three, control A, open. So now there's our mech going up. We have number four down. So we're going to go to control A, open. So there's our mech going down. Now we have left down so we're going to click wait a second we have uh number five which is left up because our we have first our animation the number and what's going on and then underneath it we need to have to click this and then make sure we go to folder five and then left up so we're going to click here we're going to go to number five and we can see that our Sprites going left up, we're going to hold control A and then click open and now we have our sprites of our mech animating to the up and to the left. So now we have number six which is left down, so we're going to click here and we're going to go to number six and left down is what we see here for our sprites. We're going to go press control A, select open, so now we have number seven right up. So we're going to go to number seven, and then our mech sprites are going right up. So we're going to hold control, press A. That's just a shortcut to select all of our sprites that are in this folder. We're going to click open. And then now we see animation eight, which is right down. We're going to click here. Select number eight, and then we're going to hold control, press A. You can see our mech is animating to the right down. Then we're going to click open. And then because we have this work done, 
I'm going to click apply just so that we can go to file and then save so that uh, we have this work at least done so far saved. Okay, so when we look here, you see just this idle sprite. This is the first sprite that we brought in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to left click and drag onto our work area right here. Now when I zoom uh, this window back, I just rolled the mouse to zoom back. We can see that this is uh, basically our window showing us how our work is going to, you know, where our work is contained in. I'm going to left click here and we see these different squares and a circle. This, this circle allows us to rotate. This right here, this uh, square in the corner allows us to shrink this and grow this. So I'm going to hold shift and then left click and I'm going to shrink this down some like that. I'm going to pull that down some. So we have our sprite here. Now we need to set up the uh, code or programming because one of the great things about GDevelop is you really don't have to work with code too much. It's it, This is a great program for artists. Uh, and as game visuals is a is a place where we focus on game making from the artist perspective, perspective we really like GDevelop. So uh, what we're going to do now is that we since we have this work done, we have our animated our animate uh, we have our sprites and our animations in here. Now we need to set up this so that this actually animates. So we're going to left click on this game one events. The way that things work in GDevelop is game one where you see this.